Mayor Bonnie Lewis. Mayor. All right, your official duty is to find out the name of the cow and where he came from. Oh, I can probably guess this one. But do tell about your cow, sir. Bandit. Paul Harper, two-time reserve grand champion. From the Thomas Farm. Oh, here in Lynchburg. Mayor, ask him the question. Do we pardon the cow? The cow is pardoned. Mayor Body. Okay, now we're ready. Artie Davis here at the 30th Annual Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue. So far we've judged sauce, had some really great sauce, and I have to compliment the cooks on the whole pork. It was fabulous. A kiss of smoke. So we, we judge sauce with meat because it's called barbecue sauce. Not fingers. Not fingers, not crackers, not bread. So we're having a great time. Hey, I'm Allison Abbey, and even though this is the 30th annual Jack, I am here for my fourth year, and I'm so excited. Have a great table and uh, a lot of great food. We're only just getting started, so I'm already saving space for what's to come. I can't wait for brisket, so I'm just keeping it clear until that happens. Hi, I'm Mark Logan. This is my first year to judge, and this has been absolutely wonderful. Sitting here with some wonderful people that they, they know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. This is my first year. <laughs> my name is Paul Miller. This is my fourth year judging the Jack. We just did sauces. It's such a great category because you don't get to do it often. And I'm looking forward to Homeland and desserts. I'm Dave Brown. This is my second year to judge the Jack. You know, this uh, contest, it's, it's a very difficult job because they're all great. And uh, I just sampled four excellent uh, sauces here. Uh, I did pick out two favorites, but uh, all of them are just terrific. My name is Don Cooley. I've been uh, fortunate enough to be involved with the Jack for seven years, volunteering in certain aspects and gotten a judge several times. Uh, started out with a uh, good basic and barbecues with the sauces. And uh, what I like about this contest is they actually serve pork with it, so you taste it how you normally would eat. And I think that's a great way to taste the sauce. Uh, had some very good sauces and, of course, a good uh, pork product to go with it. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Are we on hot? Okay. Yeah, where we are, what you eat. Uh, I'm Big Jim. We're at the uh, 30th annual World Jack Daniels World Invitational Barbecue. Uh, we just got judging the uh, Homeland category. What is it called? Cooking from Homeland. Cooking from the Homeland. We had three really good entries, uh, and now I'm going to partake in one of my entries, which was uh, a drink and a shot. At my table's here. Um, really. It came with the entry. It came with the entry. A little single barrel with a nice. Uh, ice cube so we're going to do that but really good entry so far we're looking forward to the rest of it i'm done this was fun until chip chapman started talking so i'm stretched i'm based out of kansas city missouri uh this is my seventh year cooking down here wait a second i'm not cooking i'm judging i'm eating you're a eater uh, it's my seventh year getting to judge the Jack, and so far we've had great stuff. We've had Dino ribs, we've had burgers, we've had some wonderful sauces, and this is nice chilly weather. It's a little rainy, the crowds are building up, and I'm really looking forward to the 30th year down here at the Jack. There you go, boss. Start. Yeah. Name rank. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you asking about? Name rank. rank. Where you are, who you are, and what you ate. Oh, okay. I'm Nick Barris. I'm a reporter and anchor at News Channel 5 in Nashville. And I, they looked like dinosaur bones. Did you get a shot of those beef ribs? I thought they were great. I, I've, you know, I've always heard about beef ribs. I've never had to try them. And this is the first time it was cooking, I guess, Homeland Cooking Chef's Choice. Fantastic. This was probably one of the best Chef's Choice I've ever had. Because they also had burger fries and a milkshake. How can you go wrong? And then some kind of, what was that, mashed potatoes with beef tenderloin in a sauce? This is where you have to learn to pace yourself, because you wanted to eat it all. And we still have four categories to go. And dessert here. And dessert. <laughs> what am I thinking? This part. 
Perry Wagner from uh, Jet Madison, Mississippi. I'm so I'm here at the Jack. We had the uh, Homeland uh, Taste of the Homeland. I installed that some type of big dinosaur rib. It was it was huge. I believe it was actually a beef rib, but it was it was huge and it was wonderful. Um, hamburgers, little sliders, and uh, some beef tenderloin and mashed potatoes. Great mix. It was, it was delicious. And you ate them all, right? Well, no, I couldn't eat them all. I got to pace myself. I mean, I'm a big guy, but I still got all afternoon to go. You'll have to talk up because of the noise. Oh, you got the microphone. Uh, all right. Uh, our number one was, uh, I guess, what you'd call something that my grandmother would have made, and I would have sat down and really enjoyed it on it. Very, very good on it. Uh, the hamburger reminded me of the great big hamburgers you get at the World Food Championship. Gigantic hamburger. Uh, they were they were okay uh, as far as hamburgers go. When we get to the beef ribs, I believe I could have just stayed and uh, eaten all the beef ribs and, and and not eaten anything else the rest of the day. They were outstanding. They were by far to me the the, the best of the three. I'm Charlotte Wines, and I, I gotta tell you, I'm so honored to be at this table. This was the best homeland I have ever had. Every one of the dishes was over the top. I'm Fred Davis from Jacksonville, Florida, and this is year number 27 for me here at the Jack. And as usual, the entries are excellent. So far, we've only gone through a couple of categories, but in both categories, in fact, three if you call, count the sauce, they have been what you would expect to have at the Jack. It's always a pleasure judging here, and I just hope it continues for years to come. Thanks, so. Hey, I'm Carrie Farrell from Dothan, Alabama, my third year judging the Jack, and I have to say this year's chicken entries were some of the best I've ever judged. Every one of my entries had uh, just about perfect bite-through tenderness, no skin dragging off the chicken, and uh, super moist and flavorful entries. So I'm really pleased about the entries this year. There you go. Hi, Richard Westhaver from Boston, Mass. It's my fourth year judging the Jack. I competed here for nine years in a row, and uh, things have been great. People are nice, and it's good to be here. Hi, Craig Pasco from Seneca, South Carolina. This is my eighth time here at the uh, Jack Daniels Invitational okay. International Barbecue. Uh, it's a great place to be and a wonderful contest to, uh, to become part of. Would you please? My name is Paul Kirk, known as Kansas City Bear and a Barbecue. Uh, have another great time at the Jack. 
Good old home week. You see anybody you know here? Uh, I believe I see people I haven't seen since a year ago when I was down there. And it's great. Come back, it's basically old home week. So, really enjoy it. So far, the food has been great, especially the uh, cook's choice was excellent. Hey, Jim Tab, Tryon, North Carolina. And I just judged seven chickens here. And uh, as you might expect here at Jack Daniels, they were all very good for the most part. Uh, I would say a couple of them had too much sauce on them, if you can call it that. Maybe the first two that were like that. And there was a nice tasty sauce toward the end there on the last one I had. Very nice. John Nelges, South Dakota, Jack Daniels World Championships. Uh, just got done eating ribs. And um, I did. There was probably three there that I thought were uh, were very good. And, you know, two that were kind of in the middle and one that just didn't quite, uh, quite get it done. Yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> My name is Courtney Thomas. I'm from right down the road beside Lynchburg, Tennessee. And I'm an engineer here at Jack Daniels judging the Jack. We just got done eating some ribs, and man, it's a tough competition. They're all really good. Thank you. Howdy, you know. I don't know nothing about nothing, but I'm Denny Mike, and I'm from the great state of Maine, which everybody knows is the barbecue capital of the world. That's actually, I need to be more specific. I'm actually from southern Maine. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> we've had some pretty good food here today. I agree with, the, um, I agree with my other judges here right now is that Three of them were uh, real good, and three of them were not so real good. So, you know, give everybody an A for effort and uh, some uh, an A-plus for effort. Which office are you running for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leland Statham, Senior Meteorologist the News Channel 5 Network, CBS Nashville. Great to be here for the 30th anniversary of the Jack. All of this is good. One or two, yeah, maybe E uh, for effort. Uh, it fell just a little short, but several, boy. Mouth watering stuff, but always, always great to be here. My name is Chef Daniel Vargas. This is my first time here uh, as a judge, and I'm having a blast. Great to be here. Thank you. Los Angeles, California, sir. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jimmy Miller. I'm from Tullahoma, Tennessee. I'm a chief in the United States Air Force, and this is my 10th year. And this is every year, it's always great. Jack Daniels competition. Wow. My 12th year here, and I got to tell you, it gets better every year. This year's been interesting, though, because in the chicken category, there was a noticeable theme with the rolled thighs on each side of the box, and then about three chicken wing flats that divided it. There were a lot of entries like that at the table. Every one of them was good and they all looked delicious. But it's just interesting as the years go by, there's kind of a, a theme in the way the boxes are packed. And it's fun to see that because in the just looking back and thinking back over my 12 years of doing this, I've watched the evolution of all of this in that short period of time. And it was just kind of fun to see it today. And, and notice that, that commonality 
amongst it all. I was talking to a couple of the photographers that were here today too, and they both noticed that on some of the other tables, rolled thighs, those chicken flats in the middle, or lollipops, and then another row of thighs. But what a great contest. When you grab the and, and put the best cooks in the world right here in one park, every single bite is going to be great. So it's been an enjoyable time and a lot of fun and really tough. And all my scores have been tight today, all of them. Diana? Diana, you're up. What do you want me to say? Who you are, where you are, and what you do, and what you ate. Okay. Have a sit down. You got to tell them you're a food, a meat scientist. Right never? Whenever I'm ready? I'm Diana Clark. I'm with Certified Angus Beef. I'm actually a meat scientist at Certified Angus Beef, and this is my first time ever at the Jack. Shame on you. I know. It's phenomenal, though. I love it. I love everything that I've eaten so far, and we haven't had any beef yet. That's saying a lot, okay? So I can't wait until I get to get my hands on some brisket, and that's what's coming up next. But everything has been amazing. So, so excited for this opportunity, and hopefully I can come back next year. Are there any new exciting things happening in uh, beef breeding? Beef breeding? Not really. There's new... I call new cuts emerging. Um, they've always existed, but now we're just starting to fabricate the animal a little bit differently, so that way people can have new eating experiences. So it's a lot of fun. I I got a question. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay, so if you're a competition cook, you're cooking beef brisket. Are you going to go with a grass-fed brisket or a grain-fed beef? Oh, definitely grain finish is where it's at. So. This is a quote that my professor used to always say, you can't make ice cream out of pork poop. So, <laughs> gotta start with high quality, and high quality means grain fed, fed beef. So yeah, definitely. I learned something. <laughs> okay, now we know. Pass it on down. Okay. Who you are, where we are, what you eat. Uh, my name is Mirko, I'm coming from Italy. Uh, first time judging the Jack. Dove in Italia, in Alto Mare, su al, uh, nelle Alpi, in the Alps, uh, really high up the mountains. Uh, we are doing a barbecue competition also over there. We're organizer and we are here for judging the Jack. It's an honor to be here. Do you eat anything good yet? Uh, fine for me. I got some really nice chicken. Uh, the first rib was really good. Pork, yeah, also not really exciting one, but good. Now let's see the brisket and dessert, obviously. Okay. Hi, my name is Lisa Guatney. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I am the reigning Grand World Food Champion. And we've had some great food. We've um, tried a lot of really wonderful dishes. You can tell that the uh, cooks out here have done a great job of balancing the conditions to create good dishes. And we've had a ton of fun at the uh, championship here. It's been a great time in Lynchburg. I'm uh, Dane from WGN Radio in Chicago. You're judging the Jack. It's the best of the best. So for all your aspiring uh, barbecue pitmasters cooks, this is what you hope to be someday, is here cooking or maybe judging if you can't cook. And, uh, it's tough to distinguish a lot of the barbecues. Is, uh, the doctor of barbecue has spoken over here. It's just it's kind of tough to... I had a lot of trouble with the chicken and some other stuff. A lot of it is... It, I don't know, it's kind of cookie cutter to, to a certain point. Is There's nothing jumping at me, but I'm most for... I'd say 85, 90 percent of stuff I eat today has been pretty above par. I mean, it's, I think it's the best of the best. So glad right. to be here. Hey, all you meat lovers out there! This is uh, Slasher from Barbecue Pit Boys. Yeah, we're uh, eating on some of this brisket here. We got some dry stuff, and uh, oh, it was perfectly cooked. And it's um, it's just this batch. That's about it. And I hope everybody's in. Absolutely. I hope that everybody's enjoying themselves here today and having a good one. Wish the sun's going to come out, stay out.
that's a lot of years uh, to be coming here and doing this. And um, it, it's a fun weekend, but it's an exhausting weekend. And I could not imagine having been at all 30. Um, but we're honored that we do have someone who has. Uh, Mr. Chip Chapman, we're honored to be presenting you tonight with the Spirit of Barbecue Award. You truly are the voice of Jack. Uh, and it would not be the same without you. And, uh, he has been running all week long and he is now running up here. Some call him Houston, some call him Texas, some call him a lot of things. I call him a good friend. He is also our Volunteer of the Year, Mr. Greg Shina. Barbecue is going to Butcher Barbecue! 